Let's begin with the march. This is your warm up. Welcome, Amanda, Rosa, and I'm Mo. So we're going to begin, warm up the body, and prepare you for the class ahead. All right, let's take a walk. Forward, hold the march right there. Walk back. Nice and light in your step. Walk forward. Knees up and walk back. Stay there, I'll lead you in. Step touch, let's go. On a step touch, stand nice and tall. Brace your abs, and when you're ready, just a nice bent arm pull. We go to the beat, we add double, two steps this way. Nice, back, two to the right. If you'd like more, reach and pull. There you have it. All right. Let's walk to the top, four up, hold the march, back up. Nice light running arm. Pick up the knees, that'll help lift the heart rate. We call this walk line. I'll preview with you in. Step curl. On the curl, heel to hip, brace the abs. Good work, we push and we pull, let's go. Nice. Arms strong at your side. From here, grapevine to your right. Step behind step, heel lift. Nice. Option would be to tap the floor. You choose. Last time, hold here, squat tap wide. Ah, catch your breath. This is where we power up our posture. Now we strengthen through the core. Slice and dice. That means you straighten your arms, reach through your fingertips. We're gonna move on. March three. Three, two, one, tap, left. We march, because it's the warm up, but you'll see two more layers, layers in the workout. We're gonna keep rhythm. We're gonna walk forward for three. Add the knee, up on three. Tap, walk forward, three, two, one. Back for three and tap. Good work. So you notice the journey here. We went side, we went forward. We're gonna cut it through the middle. Corner three, take up the knee. I love working with direction. Subtle, but adds so much variation. Last time. Step, tap, repeater, hold tall. Hands on hips, we can brace, tuck the tail. Add the knee lift. Now you have eight more. You can tip from the hip. Drive that knee, four more. Good job. Next move, easy walk. March out in, out in, left leg. How did we get there? All right, box step. Forward, forward, left, right. Good job. Now we're gonna climb some stairs. Step, alternate knees. Great way to begin all moves is start with the lower body. Add the upper body when you're ready. Dry from the ground up. Now I'm gonna preview in the next move. Stay with the gals. Step, knee, march, two. Join me, step left, march, two, one. You're gonna use this in the workout ahead. So as we warm up our bodies, we're also warming up the brain, connecting the dots, hey? I love it. All right, hold here, squat. Let's get those legs warmed up, hey? Now as you squat, let the knees flow forward. You know when you activate muscle, it helps train the heart. Let me preview. We're gonna build confidence here. We step out and in. Beautiful. As we step out, we're stepping into strength, more confidence, and we're also on the left leg. Why? March it here. Awesome. So we get to do the whole thing again. Why? Because we also have to rehearse so we can feel confident as we train Then we know what we're doing. Are we ready? Walk the line. Hold the march, knees up. Walk back, a light running arm, light knee lift. Last time, but we will be back. Step touch, side to side, left, right. Hands on hips, always a good place to start. And then you bring in the upper body, layer it in. Nice. Four, three, same move, two steps left. Down up. Three more sets. 
If you want more, you reach, stay tall. Good job. Last time, from the top, walk the line. Go the march. I'm getting warmer. That's the whole idea. Last time. Let me lead you in. Hold the march. Step, leg curl. Good job. Now we lift, squeeze those glorious glutes. This time we'll curl. We'll bring the arms up first. Excellent. Four, three, same upper body, grapevine. Step behind, step lift. Three more sets. Good job. We're gonna go on. High and strong. Low and long. Squat, tap wide. Turn. Easy. Sweep and wrap. Down low in the legs. And then when you're ready, turn from the center of the chest. Reach those fingers out. I love turning on the core, hey? Walk for three. In the workout ahead, you'll have options to walk or to skip. And then there's a level three where we get to add a sweep or a swing to the side. We're gonna walk forward. March three, two, one. Nice, two more. And again, just playing with direction adds variation. We went side, front, now corner. Knee up. You have three more. Transition ahead. Transitions help us change from one lead leg to the next. Step, tap, repeater, 16. Strong, nice and tall at the knee. Tip from the hip. Excellent. You have four more. Feel free to drive that knee, push it back. Easy walk, right knee, right side. We'll use the easy walk a little bit later. Box step, right, left. Classic step move. From low and loaded, we're in a step knee, alternating. Step knee. Now feel free, bring in your upper body when you're ready, and then defy gravity. Drive heart rate, good, stay there. This is a preview, join now. Step knee. So use that technique, it helps lead your class in, because they're visual learners predominantly. Last two, last time. Squat, step out. Nice and tall, good job. That's it, as we squat, we rise to stand. Beautiful, we're not quite done. We're gonna take it side. Let's go, push. Seven, you can do it. Four more. Good job, that's our cue, one more and march it out. Excellent, you're ready for your workout ahead. This is your pre-cardio, so to bring your heart rate up into the heart rate training zone. You can work at the level that suits you best to get you there. Four, three, I'll lead you in. Step touch, we're gonna build a combination. So we start with a step touch, and when you're ready, you're gonna add a bent arm, quick pull. Four more. From here, I'll preview in, second part, step curl. We've been here, but now get deeper, deep into the legs. Chop and cross heart. Four to go, and then we're gonna put it together as a combination. On four, three, step touch, move forward. You've got two, one more. Step curl, push down, lift up. Now we're gonna move back, so step touch, reach and pull. Leg curl. Got it? Ready, do it again? Here we go. Step curl. Get into the muscles by getting low in the legs. Step touch, reach, pull. Excellent, push. We're gonna be back, I'll preview in, easy walk. There's the beat. Always a good time to bring in a move that makes you feel the music. Four more. Three, we're gonna take an easy walk. Take a look, just watch. It's called a straddle. Step right, step left, march on the spot. Nice light arms, down and up. Lift up your toes. Last time, 
Let's put it all together from the top. Step touch. Leg curl, tricep bicep. Step touch, move back. Reach, push, step curl. Ready for straddle? Right side, go. Now you can easy pick up the knees or take it to a light, run on the spot. Last two, one more. Transition. You're gonna step over to the right, half repeater. Get low with Mo. Drive the arms. Sit deeper. Eight to go. Got good news. Whatever we do on the right, we do on the left. Join us. Oh. So you set this up, think about what you can bring to this to make it stronger. We want to build intensity gradually. Are you ready? Leg curl, let's do it. Nice. Every move has a destination. Push and pull. And then once we've mastered the moves on their own, we bring them together. We're gonna to add direction. Step touch, move up. Leg curl, hold here. Push, pull. Now push back with your step touch. Leg curl, that was once. Let's do it again. Leg curl, slow, strong. Bring your hands to your hips, reach and pull. There you have it. Good job. We're moving on. Easy walk left. All right, so now that we're getting into the heart of the matter, we want to get down low in the legs. We want to challenge the mind. Stay with the gals. This is a straddle. Step left. Step right. It's all based on marching. Three more. Down and up. Nice. From the top, step touch. Here we go. We know it, so let's show it. Step touch. Reach, push, push, reach. Good, leg curl. All set for your straddle. Let's add some elements of variation. High knee march or a light heel jog. Once more. All right, transition. Step over, repeater. Stay right there. Come on, push through. We've got eight more, get deeper. Excellent work. You got four, and then we'll march it out. Woo! We're into the cardio now, so we want to think about where we're at. Perceived exertion, heart rate. You want to think where you're at, where you want to get to, and where you want to challenge yourself to today. Walk forward. Knees up, hold. So we already know this. Walk the line. Knees up high. Come again. We're moving on, but we will be back and we'll build it. We're gonna take two steps, hands on hips, step together, step. And when you're ready, chop and pull. One, two, one, two. Sharp and tight, good job. Now, on the spot, leg curl, hold, pick up. Strong, this is how I build muscle into my cardio. We're gonna use this, so four more. And then we're going to use it to build into a grapevine. Are we ready? Let's go right. Grapevine. Oh my goodness. Now get down and up. Pick up the heel. So we we'll want to remember this as we come back to it. From the top. Walk the line. Let's go. Knees up. Back up. Knees up. Now we're going to stay here. Hold back up. You can keep the march or you can add in a tap side. Let's try it. Let's go. Back up. Down up. Last time. On the way to the grapevine. Remember our arms are coming up. Let's go. Pick up. Oh, feel that heart rate rise. So you want to be right in the training zone to get that heart fitness effect. Excellent work. March for three. Yeah, 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 
Beautiful. You catch your breath here. We'll be back. We add in more. Looks great. We're going to walk forward. When you walk forward, three, two, one, knee up. Tap. You're going to take a leap and a lift. One more. Excellent. Cut it through the middle. You know this one. March for three knee. So you can add the leap with Amanda. Or add a step kick with Mo. Or stay with your base with Rosa. Add on, subtract. Great fine. Let's go. Looks great. Last time. Really pick up. All right, you're gonna march side for three or skip. Get down up. This is where you wanna take the challenge to lift your heart rate. Bring it to the top of the training zone. Why? It's good for your heart and it's fun to be challenged. Walk forward, three. Back up. Woo. Excellent work. All right, so you know it. You did it to the side, you did it to the front. Let's really travel to the corner. Let's go. Knee up, leap, or try. Step, kick, step, knee. Two more. Step, kick, step, knee. Last time. All right, let's challenge it. Step repeater. Push, push. Now this is cardio, so you wanna waste no time to break a sweat. Eight more. Four to go. March it left. High fives. It's good to cheer on your mates. Good work, we get to do it all again. Why? Because now we know it. We can lift the intensity and really guarantee we get to that heart rate training zone. Let's go. Hold. Back up. One more this time around. Knees up high. Awesome. Double step. Legs first. All right. Chop. Quick chop. Push down. That's how you work the triceps at the same time. Woo! Leg curl. Hold the arms low. Pick up. Down. Up. What's the difference? It's the depth. Yeah. Four more. Now you're going to stay. Just watch. There's your grapevine. Come along to the left. Nice. All right, team. We go back to the top after this last great grapevine. Walk forward, left leg. Walk forward. Hold the march. Now you know this. What did we layer in? Tap side to side. That's option two. Or on your two more, give it a go. Walk left. Tap or jacks. Excellent. One more. All right, great fine. You ready? Arms up. Hear your breathing. Feel your heart pumping. All right, we're going to leave that part. Second part. Walk for three. Brain focuses on building leg strength, heart health. So you can skip. That means you get a little lift, but to get up, you gotta get down. Good work. Walk forward for three. Step knee. The beat is bigger. Shall we leap? Last time. Where are we going? Memorization. Go. Now you can walk it and add a leap, or you can step, touch, step knee. It's like the road to Oz. I guess that makes me Dorothy. All right, great fine. Let's go. Woo! Last round. What can you do different? 1%. You wanna go for it? We skip or march. Excellent. So if you're not sweating yet, then ask yourself, can I walk my stride forward even longer? Go. 
Knee up. All the way back. Join your friends in the back row. Bring them to the front of the room. You know where you're going. Left corner. All right, team. You take it right to the end. You know that final sprint, step repeater. Hold here, tall to start. Drive the knee by tipping from the hip, chest up, breathe, knee up. Come on, eat more. March, right leg. Ah, oh, well done. Cardio. There's more. So we're in the cardio peak. This is your opportunity to connect. Rate of perceived exertion, you wanna drive it to the high end of your heart rate training zone. Use one to 10, let's get to seven, eight, or nine. Walk for three. Pick up your knee, walk back, tap. Now this is your first four, as we know it. You feel the beats different, hey? A Little more tempo, a little more height, a little more depth, let me show you. Let's go, three, two, one, knee, tap to the side right. Three more. Tap to the side right. You have two more. Next combination. Just gonna use that tap. Step in right, alternate left, right. Set it up. Touch opposite shoulder. Down up. Four more. This is your step alternating tap. Left to right. Four, three, what's better next is a repeater to the left. Step repeater. Tap, knee, or drive. Step in left. Tap right. Feels a little different, you know it. Four, we're gonna go back to the step alternating tap. Step in, step, tap. Let's go. Woo, I'm feeling this. <laughs> good work, you should be somewhat breathless here. Somewhat hard to hard, it's good. Back to the step in, repeater left. Tap or knee. Four, three, change, side, step in. Perfect. Right back to the start, how about that? Walk forward, three, two, one knee, tap side. Excellent. Two more. Are you ready for your step, alternating tap? Step, tap left, go. Down up. That's four more, come on, woo, I feel it. I hope you do too. Eight repeater, let's go. Four, three, step on your left, step, tap. Excellent. We got a transition. Right lead, box step. Eight times. Level one, high. Level two, drop. Level three, jump in. Syncopated or two foot step. That's good on the right. Tap, change, left leg. Choose the level based on how you're feeling and how you wanna feel. Come on, four more. Good news. We're halfway through our first cardio peak. Walk for three. Knee, tap, regular tap. This way you catch your breath. Part of fitness is recovery. 15 seconds, it's like a Tabata drill. Are you ready? Tap side. Now feel the difference. High, drop. Not quite the start, but we'll be there. Step in, alternating tap. Get the legs, chest up, cross the line. This will help you stay strong. Come on. The beat's gonna pick up, I know it. Step in on your left, repeater. Knee up. Step in right, alternate. Repeat, sorry, sorry. Hey, we're human. Are you ready? Now we're gonna alternate, step. There you have it. Woo! Four more. You know where we're gonna go. It's like any road race. Last lap. Lead left, walk. Up, tap. Come on. 
Perfect. We're gonna step in alternating. Step, push, push. No need to slow down. No need to go light. And you can do more. Four. Step in, repeater. Drive. I'll come up. Drive up. Four, three, two. Step change. Excellent. Now we got a box step. Left leg. I'm only gonna give you four chances here. Come on. Tap change, right side. Beautiful. And march it out. Ah, oh, nice. On a scale, one to 10. I hope you're up there. Eight or nine. Oh, it's all perception. So it's what you feel as your challenge today. All right, squat tap wide. So this is your final cardio peak, number two. We got four and a half minutes, so we wanna really go for it. It's all based on your goals, ready? We're gonna stay low in the legs, corner to corner. There's four of these. Last two, last one. Now we lean, we tap or lift for skater. There's only three sets. Last one, two steps across, stand up. Squat tap low, corner. Now we're setting up this combination. We're gonna build it, we're gonna break it down and build it up again. Skate, if you're gonna skate, you lean, lift from the hip. Last time, two steps. Now skate for three. Got choices. You ready? Two steps, high overhead. Step all the way in, why? Because this has an athletic feel, let's go. Do it again, step in, push up. Lean strong, push long, two steps. You can always stay low with a tap, and you don't need to jump. Are you ready? Go two. Now single skater, one, two and move. Push off, and move for two. How do I think about it? Lift, two, move for two. Awesome. Transition, step knee march. Now if you're not sure, Think back to the warm up. Shake it, shake it. That's for you. And for Rosa, too. Now we're gonna stay here. You wanna drive it? Right lead, let's go. Push. Good. Reach, pull back. Now you have a choice. You can always stay at the basic level, but it is your final cardio peak. You ready to go? Squat tap to the right, corner to corner. We're gonna challenge you a bit here. Mind and body. Skater. Intensity building. And we're gonna reduce the reps here. Two over. Skater. Three, go. Push. Two. One more. Double step touch. Do it again. Make sure you step right in so you can push off that outside leg. Ready to go? Reduce it. Single, go. Now move for two. Step, push. I love the skater. Of course, this is Can Fit Pro. Canadians can skate. It's gonna be a left lead. Step knee, let's go. Now, if in doubt, go back to a step alternating knee lift. When you feel confident, give it a go. Or should you just give it a go and the confidence comes? Trust me, squat tap corner. How do we get to the left? That's the magic of teaching. All right, lean in. Use the reps. Good work, two over. Step, skate for three, or six, five, four, three, two, one, move, two. Do it again. Come on, lean. The lean is from the hip. Strong leg, go. Singles, let's push it. Hey, hey. Get down low, rise up high. Nice work. You're gonna notice something. Come back to the right knee. Step knee. Last push. Come on. Woo. High, high, stay vertical. Single arm will work. No lift required. We're on the right lead. From the top, corner. Now trust me, you're gonna finish stronger than you started. Lean and lift, first skate. Come on, 
Ready to go, two steps. Squat tap, corner to corner. I love that. Push. Lean and lift. Last hurrah. Skate for gold. Two over. Single skate. Final lap. Push. Push off. And move. Come on. Woo. That's it. March it out. Awesome work. High five, gals. Woo. High five for you for learning and growing and becoming a great fitness instructor. Cardio recovery, march it out. This is where we get to enjoy moving our body lightly to bring our heart rates down, perceived exertion. You want to bring it back to about a three out of four. Let's step right foot forward and back. Woo! This is a step forward intentionally and hesitate back. You can add some hips. I know these girls have got hips. They move them really much better than I do. Let me show you. Easy walk. Down low. Let your arms just go. What I love about cardio recovery is that it helps you know where you were and how you feel now. Let's put it all together. One forward and back and one wide. Beep, beep, beep. You can use some upper body if it feels right. So this is where you can bring your personality into the final part of cardio. Yeah, step touch, step touch. Now roll your shoulders, that's it. Nice, if you like, turn to the side, right? Back to the center. Excellent, now do me a favor, stop there. Left foot, how easy was that? We're gonna do the whole thing again. Really, it doesn't take long, but it's necessary. Stay with the gals, one more, easy walk. Beautiful. Down, down, up, up. You can add some depth, but really it's just about letting everything come back to pre-workout level. Let's bring it together, intentional step. And wide. A little bit of torso turn, rotation, or hip lateral, excellent. Step touch, left side. And if you like, you take it to the left wall. How do you feel? Think left foot, left side. How's that feel? You think you'd like to try it to the other side? Stop, step touch. And back, three more. Last two. And then, because we can, we'll do it to the other side. Are you ready? Hesitate, step. Woo! This is where you always catch the smiles, including yours. Last time. Beautiful. Breathe in. Exhale. Take a big deep breath in. How about two more? Stand even taller and stronger than you started. Very well done. Start to the right, left. Step touch. Welcome into your muscle conditioning. Functional in nature, so we're gonna train the body the way it needs to be strong for living life at your best. So both weights on your right, step to your right for a lunge. We're gonna teach and build from where we started in the warm up. So this is where we need to step into our strength leg, right side, hips back. We're gonna add in, I'll preview, touch the knee, lift to the side. So it's a lateral swing. It's gonna help you rise to the top strong. If you want more, lift up for three only. Two more. Last time and stop. Step to your right, left toe, squats. Now this is a single leg squat, all the weight on the right. I'll show you from the side. Rather than tipping from the hip, tuck the tail. And then we'll squat, tap, squat and stand. Let's do it four times. Beautiful. You feel it there, but the true working leg is your right. And you are right. Last time. Bring the weights to your left. Lateral lunge, left side. So set it up. You may want to start small, 
It's really important to get that eccentric load and push the hips back. That's it. Find your depth, find your length. Knee to side wall. Think about reaching to the wall. It's gonna rise you up. If you want the next level, to the top. Three only. Last time, you'll hesitate, hold, step, left side. Now once again, this is a single leg squat. The movement is at the ankle, knee, then the hip. You try to take that tail, tuck it under. Everything lines up so we can really strengthen. Standing glute, left, and fire up the glute on the right as well. So we're using strengthening muscle for stability and for motion. Now we're gonna take it back to the top, transfer your weight, you've got seven. Side or overhead. Now we have another level, add the knee. Down and up, three more. Hang there just for a moment, last time. Over, squat, tap back, left. This is how we build a better lunge. Keep that knee stacked over the right. We're gonna preview once. You drop, down, up, and in. Let's go singles. Why wait? When you've got it, offset by sub curl. Now if it's too much, take one weight away. Awesome. To the other side, both weights left. Here we go. How we doing? You got it. You only got three, so why not give it a go? Come on. Last time, over and hold. Down, tap back. So find your stride to build your lunge. Extend the leg fully. That not only gives you an awareness of your stride for your lunge, but it gives you confidence. You're gonna lunge and lift. Let's go, when you're ready. Boy, oh boy, it's amazing what you can do when you double the dose in one hand. Awesome. So there is the setup for a great squat, which is ahead. Step out to parallel. Slightly wider, ladies. Let the knees flow forward. So you really wanna think about knees forward, hips back and down, abs braced, chest up. We're gonna add in upright row. Sit and lift. Bit of an oxymoron. We lift as we sit. And then when we stand, we lift again through our butts. A better butt. Come on. I'm gonna take you there and hold you there. Let's go. Come on. Woo. X marks the spot last time. You slow her down. When you slow it down, you can keep your hands supporting your back and your posture on your thighs or bring them to your side. Good news. You know it. Now we're gonna go back in, singles. Hold your arms at your side. That's level two, level three. Hammer curl, weight to the top and up. Three more, excellent. Same exact move, two, two, slower down. Now this is where you wanna find depth in your squat, but keep your chest lifted. So the knees flow forward, Big tip here is all about the stance. Good, now, weight to your side, triple pulse. Three, two, one, pull up. So I think about pulling up my skinny jeans, my leggings, whatever it takes to pull up tall. Feel your legs, because we're gonna need them. Start with your left arm, take it down in front. Hip swing. Set it up with a squat. I like to lead with my thumb. Good, now when you're ready, all the way through to the top. And of course, you can double it up. One hand or both, do it again. Switch hands when you're ready. Try to get to the other side now. Other hand, please, so we can balance the work. Four more, four, strong backs, three, last two. Now we're into deadlift, step in parallel. Two, one, up, bingo. You can see that your knees bend, hips slide back, and everything hinges like a door from the top of the head to the tip of your tail. Down on three, two, one, rise. Now, you know what? Often I see we leave out the best part, coming all the way back up to the top. 
So get those tails tucked under. Single row. Let's go. To the knees, squeeze. Target, dumbbell to your rib cage. Elbows high. Now I always think that a single scoop is good, but I think you'll agree, triple is better. Let's go for three. Now tip, eyes can be lifted. Chin in line with the chest, stand up. If you notice yourself rounding, turn your palms to the front of the room, to the front of the class. Do it again. Now you feel different here, automatically. That brings you into a better back. Last time, three, three times the charm. But I'm gonna ask for my last set to be a number seven. How about it? Seven, stay here. Six, come on, you can do it. Now on this, it's really important. Your chest remains up, hips at 45 degrees. All right, you're stronger, let's prove it. Stand up, single row. We're gonna rise and pull up to an upright row. Bingo, palms forward, rotate, palms towards your chest. Turn, lift. Last time. And stop at the top. Oh, Woo! Excellent work, good training. So welcome in to your muscle conditioning. Part three, it's gonna be floor training using body weight as your training tool. So let's come on to all fours. It's really important alignment wise. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. So we're gonna begin. Extend the back leg, front arm and lower to the floor. Switch. Really think length and strength. Abs lifted to align the spine. This builds us for our next move, modified crawl. Take your front hand forward, back knee forward, and set back to all fours, switch. Good, and switch. Coming back to that flat tabletop, and switch. So we're gonna go back to the beginning. Let's hold, back leg, front arm. Reach, breathe in, exhale. Now brace your belly, your abs lift to align the lower back. Two more. If this is a struggle, try lifting your thumb up. That'll help free that space of the shoulder. Crawl, here's your next level. Knees off the ground and back. Almost like you're pouncing forward. You should feel your core fire up there. That's what it's all about. Building core from the inside out. All right, back to all fours. Walk your plank down to a hover, switch sides and up. So try to alternate which hand you're going forward and down with. Good, this is level one. All right, if you're ready to progress, shift your knees. Come with the hips forward. So you wanna keep the hips square to the mat. You're bracing through your core like a corset, pulling its strings tight. Breathe, good. Let's do three more. Level three, push. Now really important here, brace from beneath. Last two. One more. Better than any push-up I can think of. Hold here. Down on one side. On your forearm. Align your knees. And when you align your knees, level one, level two, we're gonna hoist. That's your starting position. So you choose what feels best. Here or here. And a trick to help support the neck is cradle the head. So we're gonna hold, full 15 seconds. We feel the rep effect, one rep, great work. Down, up. So level two is one leg extended. Level one, both knees bent, or scissor and stack. Three more, only three. Then we're gonna do a quick swivel. Stop, drop, around you go. All right, who got there first? That's level one, level two. Okay, you can have your hand on your hip, up, or cradle, and hold. Good, down and up. Lift, it's really helpful if you don't even touch the floor. Your hip lift is an important muscle to strengthen your obliques and hold. Drop, sit up. So we stretch, hold here. That's it. And swivel around. Nice. And around. Great job. So final muscle conditioning. We're gonna use our back body 
Build it, make it stronger, tighter, and better overall. So let's begin. Hands by our hips. Very important your fingers face your feet. We're gonna actually extend hips up, push into your triceps and lower down to the floor. Switch up and down. As you do this, just be confident to take the step forward. Extend and lift. Now bend both knees up. One, two, down to the floor. Keep your chin forward to your knees. Push your toes to the floor. So you can really fire up your glutes. Take your mind off your triceps. Let's keep those elbows bent. We're gonna lift and hold. We're gonna lift, touch, hold, sit. Lift, now you'll notice Rose is gonna stay hips down because to build tricep strength, it does take time. But this is an important muscle. Can we make it a little faster? One, two, down two. One, two, down two. Lift your hip, lift your knee. Good work, four more, four. How about that? Flexibility and strength in one move. Beautiful, sit down. Now, place your feet, hold back of the thighs, lift your chest right up. We're gonna roll down onto our back. Roll down, reverse abdominal curl. If you need the help, support your forearms. Lie down on the mat. Bend your knees, tuck your tail, draw your navel in. Palms up and press your shoulders down. We're gonna lift the hips for two and bring them back to the floor. You should feel your back of your hips touch the mat first. So scoop your tail under, draw your navel in. And I know you feel the beat, but try not to tap your feet. Focus on your glutes to build a better bottom line. Halfway down, single lifts, up and down. You don't have to go all the way to the floor, but if you need a break, take it. You've only got four more singles. Grab those glorious glutes, two more. We're gonna go back to floor, two, two. Now see if you can come up any higher using your hips as the primary mover here. So we wanna draw the abs in in front to lengthen the lower back. All right, team, halfway down, singles. Let's, get Let's go. Get the base started. I'm not feeling the base, or actually I am, but I'm feeling my butt. Four more. We're gonna move right into our finale. Abdominal crunches. Hips down, fingertips to temple. Singles, up and down. Now I like to think about spreading my wings, my elbows wide. Sliding ribs to hips. The chin is subtly tucked. I'll preview once, we'll lift, we'll rotate, center and down. Back shoulder, front, center and down. Now reverse it. Front shoulder, back corner. Meanwhile, abdominals in, lower back towards the mat. We're gonna take this to an abdominal cycle, alternating any leg to opposite elbow. Let's go. Come on, all the way to the end, all the way. You're not done yet. All there. I could ride my bike forever, but in this case, I think we'll just do three more. On three, two, and one, and let go. Let's relax. Just let your body relax here. Extend your legs out. Take a moment. Maybe even place your hands on your heart. This is our cool down, our final recovery. Just let everything fall into the floor. Feel the heaviness of your body. And really bring your attention to your breathing. Now, if you feel your spine doesn't feel quite aligned, a couple tips here. First of all, I'm just previewing this. You can bend your knees. You don't have to. You can just pick up your hips, tuck your tail, and roll your lower back down and extend your legs again. And then the final finesse for getting lengthening through the spine is cradle the back of your head. Pick your head up and just tuck your chin in and lengthen the spine. Now that feels good. A couple big deep breaths. Let your legs fall away. And let's do some beautiful stretching for flexibility. Let's bend both knees. Place your feet hip width apart. And let's draw the front knee to chest. If that feels fine, just stay right there for a hamstring, glute, and low back stretch. It's subtle. And if you'd like more, extend the far away leg. If you'd like even more, 
Draw your chin to your chest and bring your nose to your knee. And release. Change legs by bending the second leg. Drawing the second knee in. Let's keep the other leg bent for now. And if that feels right, just stay right there. Again, subtle stretching is significant. You don't want to pull into the stretch. You want to actually feel it release. Let's extend the far away leg for more advanced stretch here. I like to feel the stretch. Feel that release. Find it there. And if you'd like more, bring the nose up towards the knee. Let's bring both knees in and just roll easy if you like side to side. Otherwise just relax the upper body. Draw your knees apart towards your shoulders. And just a happy baby stretch here. Let's bring both feet to the floor. I'm going to ask you to pick up your back leg, cross it over like a curtsy in lying. Extend your arms out to the side. Now let the top foot find the floor. So you're going to rotate, drop towards the front, towards us. And look away to the back of the room. This is an assisted low back stretch. Beautiful hip release as well. Breathe. And just feel that release. What I love about the stretch is what we do next is the top leg is going to assist picking up the bottom knee, bringing it back to center. And then your way, switch sides, cross the other leg over. The thighs are tight and drop that back foot, the top foot to the back, looking to the front. Again, just see if you can relax, let the shoulders sink into the floor. Let the weight of the top leg assist the stretch of the bottom hip and low back. It's very important that we let stretches find their entire journey. And then we're ready to pick up, to pull up with the top leg. Good work. And now we're going to roll onto our side and come up to a side sitting position. I like to think of this as a modified hip opener. For some, this will become a great stretch. So let's place the right hand on the floor and we're going to lift the left hand up by your ear and push off to lift the hips. Tuck the tail under so you can isolate the stretch for that deep area of the hip flexor and psoas. A nice technique is to flex at the wrist and look up. And have a seat. Let's switch. So we want to find stretches that target everything that we need to release the major working muscles that we put to the test today. Again, think about lifting up out of the hip pocket. Flex at the wrist, extend a little further and have a seat. Come to your knee. So I'm going to face on an angle. We don't actually want to go any further than 90-90. Lift up and a slight lateral bend away from that front hip. Breathe in and switch. Our final stretch is on our feet today. Step right leg behind left, lift the right arm over. Beautiful stretch here. Release into it if you'd like more. Reach out with that underhand and rise. Let's stand on our podium. We get to get a medal twice here today on the podium quad stretch. Now, a great way to build a quad stretch is from a high lunge. That always works as a great option. Second side, left side. Breathe in, hold for just a moment. Exhale, lift up. Hold that stretch and release. So once again, confidence from the first side, quad stretch, second side. Breathe in, hold here, nice and tall, proud. Once again, the option is always giving that choice, nice high lunge. 
So let's come together, feet together, roll the shoulders, breathe in, open your chest, exhale. Bring your hands together, round through the back, breathe in, exhale, and a big scoop under, up, up, up and away, and release. That is it, thank you very much, great work. Thanks to Amanda, Good thank job. you Rosa, and I'm Mo, until next time. <laughs>